Hi guys, Daz here with a second haul video uh, and my third attempt at making this video. I made a, a version of it last night, it was a longer one and after I finished it on my old laptop the AVI file was totally out of sync and it was ridiculous so I've deleted that. Let's go again with a shorter condensed one. I'm using my phone so let's see where we go with it. Okay, onto the books that I picked up in the local comic shop yesterday and uh, from Forbidden Planet online. Starting that came yesterday from Forbidden Planet. This is Stabity Bunny number three. Enjoying the series. I'm not a huge indie guy, but this is an ice cream man I've been following. Uh, these books are really heating up. Uh, and it's a good read. So I haven't read this one yet because it only came yesterday, but looking forward to it. Stab at your bunny number three from Scout Comics. On to my uh, Soul DC purchase. Uh, shout out to Jim's Comics. I grabbed Sideways 2 uh, recently because it had the first full appearance of uh, the villain, uh, Thomas Fugnall, if I'm not mistaken. So I went back and picked up Sideways number one, the first appearance of Sideways and the cameo of, of the villain. Um, yeah, I don't think there's a lot of legs with these uh, DC Heroes books. I've stayed away from damage. I picked up Silencer. That looks quite good. Um, Brimstone came out yesterday in the Terrifics. Uh, never know. I might track them down at some point, but I, I, I'm buying quite a lot at the moment, so I'm staying away. Sideways, I think he, he, he sort of cameoed in one of the Batman books in like a couple of pages at the back. Uh, I've got the book, actually. I think it's Batman. Is it Batman? 40 or 38 I think uh, but that's sideways number one on to the Marvel books this week and at first we got for a pound you can't go wrong can you Thanos uh, the first this is a true believers edition uh, obviously I can't afford Iron Man 55 just yet so this is a, a good placeholder uh, should be a good read looking forward to it uh, my friends actually got a copy of uh, Iron Man 50 uh, Five, uh, Lee Kendrick's his name, he runs a local antiques store and he's gave me some good deals over the over the last couple of years um, on back issues and key issues. Uh, he's also got an incredible Hulk number one, I think, a pence copy. So what a find that is. Uh, yeah, I managed to pick him up an Amazing Spider-Man 798 to thank him uh, yesterday. So that's Thanos, the first. Up next came from Forbidden Planet. You know, they said I've had issues with Forbidden Planet. They keep sending me books and they didn't even come with a board yesterday, just in the cardboard. And a lot of the times I've got nicks on the books, bends, corner bends. If they're near mint, I don't know what. It's, I, I sent them a nasty email actually saying, let's sort it out or you're going to lose my uh, custom because it's just not good enough. You're paying money over the odds probably as well. And, and the books are nowhere near mint. But this is, uh, this is Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur number 29. Uh, this is where the Fantastic Three disbands and the Fantastic Four reforms. Uh, I missed out on 28, the huge book. Uh, first appearance of Amitipus or something like that. So I'm on the lookout for 28, but I'm not going to pay silly money. Like I said, I go by Comic Book Realm and that book's already up to $30. Uh, and so I've been out a couple of weeks, so I am on the lookout. If anyone's got a cheap copy, give me a shout. That's a Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, 29. I don't know whether this one's... I just jumped on the hype train, really. Um, but my local comic shop doesn't get them in, so I have to order that one. Onto a series I've been loving. This is Avengers No Surrender. I'm going, actually, in a couple of weeks to a, a local convention at Leamington Spa. Uh, a couple of artists I'm looking forward to meeting. John Wagner, he did uh, a lot of the Judge Dread. And a couple of Batman books. I'm going to get a Batman book and uh, signed by him, and maybe a couple of Judge Dreads. And uh, the highlight for me is going to be meeting Al Ewing, um, the fame. You shot to fame uh, with uh, US Avengers, and but now Avengers, no surrender. -y. And uh, looking forward to getting a lot of books signed by him, hopefully. A six, uh, 687, the regular cover, and what a beauty it is. That is a stunner, isn't it? This. Is the Chris Sprouse End of an Era cover. And this is possibly my favourite of the covers. 
This is the uh, variant Jamal Campbell Venom 30th Anniversary cover. Now that one, if any, I think is going to be the, the money book. eBay it seems to be going for more than the others. Uh, I try and stay away from uh, the Venom stuff. I was, Venom always came out this week. I stayed away though. There's too many Venom books at the moment. Uh, I haven't even seen the Venom trailer. and I'm, I, I do like the character of Venom. Uh, I like Tom Hardy. Um, but I've heard a lot of negative things about the trailer. Like I say, I stay away from them. They give too much away. But I, th I think it'd be okay. It's going to be darker from what, I'm, from what I gather. But they're saying not much Venom in it. I don't know. Good news is, though, that Woody Harrelson has just been cast as Carnage. And I love Woody Harrelson. So that could be exciting. On to the big books of the week. We all know Amazing Spider-Man. He's finally here, the Red Goblin. This is 797, though. And this is the second printing. These second printings have been really heating up. Uh, I've got quite a few of them. Hopefully that one does the same, although 797 really wasn't a key issue. And that, that was the Alex Ross variant cover, by the way. Sorry about that. Now on to the 798 books. This is the regular cover, Alex Ross. This one here is the uh, Ramos connecting cover. Then we have the Javier Grown Young Guns cover, and again, a bit more Venom for the anniversary. This is the uh, Terry and Rachel Dodson Venom 30th anniversary cover. And again, if any, I think this one might be more valuable than the others sometime down the line. Who knows? But like I say, the book's very overprinted. But I've got another set coming in the post. Uh, and uh, so that'll be two sets for me. And I shall be holding them because if anything, I do think it might have some legs. Uh, and I, and I picked up a, a third copy, which I gave to my friend, Lee. Now onto the back issues. I'm going to try and go as fast as I can. Uh, this is a couple of DCs first, and this is uh, Omega Men number 10. This is the first full Lobo story. And his fourth overall appearance. Like I say, Lobo films supposedly come in. Uh, Michael Bay's the boss. Yeah, we've said it before. Not great. But uh, that could be a good book down the line. Loving the Black Lightning TV show. Any TV movie spec, I'm on it. I'm chasing it down. So this is Outsiders, number one, from 2003. And this has a couple of Black Lightning characters. This has the first appearance of Thunder, number three, which is Anisha Pierce. And the first appearance of Grace Choi, who's also in the show. That is a good show, Black Lightning. I haven't watched this week's episode, but I am going to. Found this at the car boot for a pound from my friend Tony, who is giving me some superb deals over the years. Well, last year and a half probably. And this is my second copy of Batman 655, cameo of Damian Wayne. Uh, I've got uh, Deathstroke 30th, the variant on order, which is a Matina cover. Apparently they're saying that Damian Wayne isn't uh, Batman's kid now. I don't know. Time will tell. But this book's quite hot, uh, decent copy, seven and a half, uh, it's for a pound. Pick this up in Western Supermare, and it is ratty, but it's my son's favourite character. It's a reader copy, and for 89 pence, my second copy of Tales of the Teen Titans 44. The first appearance of Dick Grayson as Nightwing, and the origin of Deathstroke the Terminator. Uh, even in a ratty copy, probably get yeah, 10 quid for it, probably. But you know, I'm not really selling at the moment. My boy loves Nightwing, so there we go. This was a great purchase. This is uh, for, the, for the grade, I think, anyway. Uh, 16.99 from eBay. I'm trying to stay away from eBay at the moment, but couldn't resist this one. With the new Gods film being announced, uh, the fourth world characters are going to be really hot. I've got Big Barda. Mr. Miracle number four. I've got Mr. Miracle number one. And I've picked up this yes, beauty of a copy. Mr. Miracle number two. And this is the first appearance of Granny Goodness. Who appeared a long time ago in the Smallville show. Uh, also the first cameo appearance of Dr. Bedlam. And the second appearance of Mr. Miracle and Oberon. And that is a sweet copy. Again, I think Granny Goodness could show up in that new Gods film. Never know. On to some Marvel back issues. 
just pick this up because it was in good nick avengers annual and that is number 20 uh, a pound and that's first appearance of brutus pick this up missed it when it came out do like x-men titles so i chased it down uh, it's a good good grade two. First appearance of Trinary and the X-Men Red Team. That's X-Men Red number one. New Avengers 16. And this is the first appearance of Weapon Omega 3. This is my second copy. Going for a few quid on eBay. That'll probably be up for sale soon, as will a lot of these books. This is Warlock the Infinity Watch. The first uh, number one, and this is the origin retold of Adam Warlock, and this is the sequel to Infinity Gauntlet, and uh, had the chance to pick up that Infinity Gauntlet for cheap, and I said no because this was about a year and a half ago, and I was only a DC collector. And when I think of the books that I've missed out on, um, sickening. I'm sure once I saw the first appearance of Laura Kinney, you know, from the Logan movie number one in a shop for a couple of quid and then passed on it same with howard the duck one couple of quid passed on it now the one book i seem to find everywhere another good copy though first appearance of lady deathstrike alpha flight 33 she's in the x-men 2 movie alpha flight 55 this is the first appearance of live world uh, quite a predominant place in the marvel universe couple of pound purchases here Web of Spider-Man 98 and 99. Also picked up 97 recently from the same shop. Games and collectibles. Uh, pound each. This is the first appearance of Nightwatch. She was going to be in a movie with Spike Lee at the helm, I think. What a random choice for a Marvel film. Still, anything to do with Marvel or DC? I'm all over it. Moving on quickly. Pound from the car boot. My second copy of X-Men The Uncanny. X-Men 123. Uh, another good copy too. Probably give this one to the boy. Another book I got 50,000 copies of. Uncanny X-Men 221. First, Mr. Sinister. This was a nice find. Two pounds. Marvel Comics presents 85. The first appearance of Cyber. Seen, that on, seen him on quite a few videos. Silas Burr. This was a beautiful copy. A pound. From the car boot from that man tony again uh this is wolverine number eight classic cover goes for quite a bit of dollar on the uh ebay can't go wrong for a quid three pounds nice find again back to that character x23 aka laura kinney this is her first appearance as wolverine that was three pounds from weston My favourite show, my second copy of Daredevil, 232, the first appearance of Nuke, Frank, aka Frank Simpson, who was in Jessica Jones season one and just died in season two. Spoilers. Low grade is better than no grade. And here we go. Found this for 89 pence in Western. Fantastic Four, number 58. Got a big chunk missing. But besides that, it's been pretty good, Nick. There's a pence copy. The dreaded pence variant. An upgrade, this is a sense copy. My previous one was a pence, and Fantastic Four, 157, in good condition. Uh, 89 pence again. Bargain Hunter. Now, this is interesting, this one. 89 pence again, but I couldn't say no to it. Damaged with sun fading. But would you leave it there for, for 89 pence? Thor, 168, the origin of Galactus. And the first appearance of Eki the Watcher and Thermal Man. And this is Jack Kirby cover art and interior art. I'd be interested to know what sort of grade that could get because besides the fade and it's in pretty decent nick. I mean I read somewhere somebody sent in for some uh, some faded book expecting like a six and it came back as a three so I'm going to be hit hard. I've graded it about a two and a half but I don't really know. And this is my final purchase, guys. Sorry, this is short and sweet. Uh, 20 quid. It was on for 30. My friend Lee let me have a deal. My first Journey into Mystery uh, book, and it's a nice one. It's Journey into Mystery 115. 
the second appearance of the Absorbing Man and the Enchantress number one. Uh, but it's more importantly the third part of the origin of Loki. Graded at about four and a half five. It's on the it's on the staples, and it looks and presents pretty nicely. Besides a little bit of fade in here. Okay, that's it, guys. Dazzy over and out. Bye bye.